Welcome back to Let's Talk Ray Bradbury, perhaps the long-awaited return of Let's Talk Ray Bradbury if you've been watching the show. This is the part of Let's Talk where I am slowly working through this collection of Ray Bradbury stories. There are a hundred stories in this book and I will do a hundred videos uh, one by one. Uh, today we are talking about Unter der Sea Boat Doctor, <laughs> yes, uh, by Ray Bradbury, which appeared in his 1996 collection, Quicker Than the Eye. I could not find whether this uh, story was written earlier and only then collected. There's just not a lot of information about a lot of Ray Bradbury's stuff. Unfortunately, that would be a great project for somebody to do for a website. This story is about a man named Douglas who's making his third visit to his new psychologist. His psychologist's name is Gustav von Seyfritz, and he is a former Nazi U-boat captain turned psychologist. And uh, the doctor is clearly nuts. Uh, he's seen horrors in his life, and he probably should be the patient, not the doctor. And in his office, he has a periscope, a big brass periscope, a leftover sort of item from his days as a captain. Uh, at this particular visit to his doctor, Douglas looks into the periscope and sees all the horrors and nightmares and evil things that Dr. Seyfritz has done over the years. He suggests to the doctor that, you know, there's enough stuff in here that you could make um, millions of dollars on films and, you know, people would pay to see this. So, a year later, the next time he sees the doctor, there is a line of people outside of his office trying to get in, sort of like groupies. Um, in his office are fancy things and paintings and all of these uh, riches. Uh, apparently, he did collect on the, um, uh, the, the value of his of his nightmares in this periscope. And probably not just his nightmares, but also perhaps the nightmares of his patients. Um... But after all of this, the periscope no longer shows any images. It is just a blank um, picture of the upstairs wall um, through which uh, the periscope goes into the ceiling and uh, looks into an empty apartment, which he also owned. Uh, but soon he, uh, he stops renting his office and he disappears and he's never seen again. So this short story is a very absurd comic... Um, type of story. It is a comedy full of um, Freudian penis jokes, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, there's a lot of those in here. Um, not a wonderful read. It's a little bit clunky, a little bit sort of um, almost hard to understand at times. I had to sort of, you know, backtrack and make sure I was catching things correctly. Um, not a completely effective story, and that is a rarity in Bradbury's life. Uh, he's just such a good communicator. Um, uh, he's really known for his deceptively simple stories. Um, this one, a little bit different than that. Um, but, you know, it was still a lot of fun. And what I got out of this story, um, and I think this is maybe what he was going for, is, is it's about the um, about art and the act of creation and even um, creating from your experiences and what they always say about, you know, writing what you know. So you have this... Um, this doctor who um, who creates or who capitalizes on the insanity and the evils and all the bad things of his life. And then that sort of inf uh, inspiration, um, once he's made money, um, once he's sold it out, uh, it flees from him. And uh, the, the periscope no longer shows him any, um, any inspiration. Um, the, the suffering is out. Um, and without that, uh, he has nothing left to um, to sell to the world. So that's what I took away from it. it it's, a, it's a neat little story. If you're into stories that are really about art, about the act of creation, I think this is what this is. I think that is the moral of this story. Um, but aside from that, it is a fun, absurdist, comedic romp by the master himself, Ray Bradbury. All right, guys, I will be back soon. Uh, next story up will be Another Fine Mess, which is a sequel to the Laurel and Hardy love affair, which I already reviewed. And um, so, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, please subscribe. We need um, 20 more subscribers this year to reach our goal of 750. With your help, we can do that. And, um, yeah, guys, uh, thank you, and I'll see you again soon.